right. I'm going to just say this real quick and I'm getting off. It was good. Hey, everybody. What's up, man? Um, no need to announce myself because that's not important. I'm just going to cover this message right now with a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your might. We thank you for the power of your precious Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, I pray that this word will go forth. Yeah, and I know it's going to go forth and it won't return void, but uh, it is what it is. So, okay, yesterday I was prompted, you know, by the Holy Spirit to go home from work. That's first of all, I wanted to stay at work. He said, no, go home. When you get home, go in your closet and go pray. So I'm like, all right. I assumed it was just, you know, to make prayers and all of that and intercede for my loved ones and everything, considering what's been going on. <sighs> but it turned out to end up being a pretty heavy word. So I released it, uh, just as I was told to do. I released it and uh, I put it up. It's posted on my page if you choose to go watch it. Uh, just like this will be on my page if you choose to watch it, all right? This word is for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, okay? Now, I understand, like, I understand, but this word is for everybody. Everybody who professes to be a Christian. This is a word for everyone. Now, I understand people have preconceived notions about who I am, my mannerisms, maybe my body language. It might seem a little bit funny style. So maybe you won't give heed to this word and maybe you won't take it serious, but okay, that'll be, that will be fine with me. As I said yesterday in the other word that I uh, brought forth, Whatever the Lord tells me to bring forth in this season, I'm doing it. I spent a lot of time running from my gifts, uh, running from my uh, gifts that the Lord gave me, which he gives to all his children. But, you know, now I'm trying to walk in a perpetual state of obedience. So those gifts of the spirit are able to freely operate in and through me. Now, okay. First of all, I want y'all to know that I love y'all. I'm not judging anyone. I don't have anything negative to say to anybody. All right. I just want to tell y'all something. Okay. There is about to be a famine in America and things are not about to turn around. Things are not going to get better. That's unfortunate. I understand a lot of people been praying and saying, oh, Lord, you know, change the situation around. Protect my kids. Protect my uh, family and this, this and this. And. Uh, uh, protect my family and this, this, and this, and that. Okay, good. You know what I'm saying? That's fine, okay? What the Lord wants us to do now, period, is repent. 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 Okay? To repent is to turn away. To repent means to turn away. To repent means to change. Okay? Change. Now, America, America, our nation, America, is about to be no more. So uh, I really could care less if if people was to look at me and mock me and be like, yo, what is he talking about? He on his live bugging. Like I said, if the Lord tell me to say it, I'm going to say it. Hey, Trina, good afternoon. All right, so this is what the Lord wants us to do, okay? Seven weeks. We have seven weeks to prepare, seven weeks. And he started telling me this yesterday, by the way. And I was like, oh my goodness, what? Like, this is crazy. First of all, I'm not strong enough to go full with this word or whatever. So why are you letting me know about this? And then I asked him, okay, Lord, if this was a word from you, can you confirm it, please? You feel me? So I waited all day. Went to church this morning. Shout out to my church family. Uh, went to church this morning, and then I didn't get the confirmation until just now. So I said, all right, Lord, well, do you want me to speak this? Do you want me to put this out? You know? And it's like, yeah. So I'm going to tell you now. Go to the store. Go to the grocery stores. 
Buy as much food as you can. Don't buy a whole bunch of perishable items. Buy grits. Buy dry stuff. Dry food. And get canned food, okay? And if I'm lying about this word, God strike me down. He can strike me down. Period. I can become a proverb and a byword. Period. Y'all don't have to listen to nothing else I say. But if seven we in seven weeks' time, if you see chaos, and if you see food fights in the grocery store, if you see that, if you see that type of unrest going on and that type of confusion, that will be your confirmation for all the people because the Holy Spirit said he tugs on people's hearts. He's tugging on people's hearts, telling them, yo, listen, 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 listen to what he's saying. And yet I still constantly will get ignored. I still will constantly get ignored. I still will constantly get ignored, even though y'all feel that pulling in your spirit because y'all are concerned with how I look, how I talk, how I sound, my demeanor, and how it seems to be. I want you to know God can use anybody he wants, and he uses the people that, uh, he uses people most of the time that people perceive to be foolish and low to confound the who, the wise, the people who think they know it all. I don't care how many guns you get when this starts happening. I don't care how much ammo you get. I don't care about your patriotism because if you fight back, you're going to die. There are going to be armies from the UN, from China, and from Russia that's about to bum rush this land. And they are ready. And they are ready. And they're not even waiting. These people are on the way. Now, that's what the Lord said, okay? Now, he gave America time to repent. That's what he also said. But no, people didn't want to repent. They gave their hearts over to witchcraft and divination instead of seeking the Lord for answers. So now, just like he destroyed Jerusalem and took them into captivity. The same thing is about to happen to America. America is about to be obliterated. So with anybody who has ears to hear, anybody with ears to hear should listen and hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Prepare now. Go get food now. Get canned food. Get canned food. Stock up on dry food. OK, and most importantly, go before the Lord and repent, repent, repent of whatever you can remember, whatever you can remember, whatever you can remember and do it while it's still time. Because it's going to get to a point where people are going to fast and people are going to pray, I promise you. And they're going to try to be like, oh, spirit of the living God, please fall fresh on us. We're so sorry when all this destruction takes place because he been warning. He been warning people. He been warning us. In America, you know better and you know God been speaking. People chose to ignore him. I just want to put your fingers in your ears, right? And I did the same thing. But once the Holy Spirit started shaking me, saying, Michael, yo, get up. Everything is not what it seems, bro. I got up. I started repenting, period. And if my heart wasn't lined up with the spirit of the Lord right now, he wouldn't even let me bring forth this word. And like I said, if in seven weeks time, you guys don't see anything happen and we're living relatively normal and they tell you Corona's getting better and the virus is lifting and kids can go back to school and churches will open. You don't have to listen to anything else I say. You don't even have to listen to me now. So be it. That would be fine with me. I don't care. I'm not on here to be popular. You ain't seen me do lives in a couple of months. I put out a word yesterday. What it got? Nine views. What it got? Nine views. And what does it say? A warning to the church. Nine views. Seriously, bro. So I'm not here to play with y'all. I love y'all. But if you if you backslid, hold on, man, because I'm at work. Let me make sure I'm good. I'm good money. All right. If you backslid anything you did, backslid, aborted, lied, cheated, stole, whatever. 
God's grace is available now. It's available now. Salvation is free. Salvation is free, okay? Because we don't have any time left. There is no time left. There's no time left. So if you thought everything was going to go back to relatively normal and life was going to resume as is, nope. Nope. And anybody who tells you that is lying. They are lying to you. They are lying to you. Okay, I know people probably heard about the Antichrist and all this, the mark of the beast, and a lot of people, maybe you guys believe it. Maybe you guys don't. That's not my business. That's not my business. But all this, oh, the mark of the beast is about to come. What are you talking about? The mark of the beast is about to come. The mark of the beast is here. Okay, and most of America already took it. As soon as you decided you didn't want to pray no more, as soon as you decided you was going to go your own way, as soon as you decided God was irrelevant, as soon as you decided you did not need him, as soon as you decided God was fake, as soon as you decided you could do it on your own and you no longer needed Jesus. And he's the one who blessed this nation. So America knows better. That's why we about to be put on blast. Notice I said we. I didn't say y'all are about to get put on blast. I said me. That means me included. And just because I'm delivering this message right now and it's going forth, that does not mean I have a free ticket into heaven. I want to say that. That doesn't. I'm not even worthy to go. I'm not even worthy. Nor do I get on Facebook Live talking like this. But I do serve the Lord. And I gave the pastor my, my hand and I gave God my heart when I was 19 years old. Period. God been trying his best to use my disobedient, unfaithful, rebellious young behind ever since then. He been doing his best because I ain't really been listening. I ain't really been doing what I was supposed to. So now here it is, seven weeks of life left and God is using me. But anyway, praise the Lord for that. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. Amen. Okay. And I would urge you, if any part of your mind is like, hmm, he might be telling the truth, bro. If, he, if I urge you, first of all, don't believe everybody who claims to speak by the spirit of the Lord test the spirit to see if it's of God. Because there's a lot of people who say I'm speaking by the spirit and they're saying stuff that the spirit of the Lord is not saying to the church right now. They are lying. And I'm telling you, I'm not telling you that because it doesn't resonate with my spirit and I don't receive it in Jesus's name because it sounds crazy. I'm telling you that because God is telling me straight up. I did not say that. That is not the season you are in. That's not the time you're in. So anybody that's telling you prepare for happiness, prepare for bliss. Yeah, you can prepare for that. If you if you're going to go ahead, prepare and take the mark of the beast, you can you can prepare for all the bliss you want. But ladies and gentlemen, what's the saying? How does it go? Ignorance is bliss. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Turn away, turn away. If you need help, you can call me. If you need help, you can call me on Facebook. If you need help, you can message me. If you need help, you can message me on YouTube. My YouTube channel is G1TV. It got a gold cross and a crown. You can get in contact with me there. I'm not a prophet. I'm not prophesying nothing, okay? I'm a watchman on the wall. If God says speak it, I'm gonna speak it. I don't care about being liked. I'm not chasing views. I didn't ask you to make this video go viral. I could care less about all of that. This is a warning for people who have ears to hear and eyes to see. Repent. Get your house in order. Forgive who you have to forgive. Just let it go, bro. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Because when you see these things taking place, you're going to wish you had. You're going to wish you would have took time and prayed. You're going to wish you would have took the time and studied. 
You're going to wish you would have took the time and listened to the family members of yours that seemed crazy. That seemed like holy rollers that you thought didn't have a life because they chose to stay before the feet of Jesus. And they did try to do their best to do right. When they was telling y'all, oh, get right. Da, 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 da. Well, I thought they was crazy at one point or another. And it turns out I was pretty crazy and they were right. And I thought just like everybody else thought. And one more thing, I never thought I would be on Facebook Live doing this. I never thought, never thought that. But like I said, if you know how to pray, I'm not going to tell you to watch a YouTube video because I didn't get this from no YouTube video. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you to go to YouTube and give you a link because I didn't get this from no YouTube link. OK, I got confirmation from the Holy Spirit that this is what's about to happen. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I love all of y'all. You feel me? But if I really love you and I know something is about to happen, why wouldn't I tell you? If I say I love you and I know something is coming and I don't say nothing, aren't I a liar? Ain't I lying? I'm lying. I'm lying then. Okay? Which I used to do a lot, by the way. But this right here, I'm giving you the stone cold truth. True to the bone facts. I don't got no reason to front. Just repent, bro. Just repent. Because if you don't repent now, you're going to wish you would have repented later. Because it's going to be too late. And God is going to shut up his ears to the cries of all these people. Because he said, even with Corona, even with Corona around, even with people perishing day by day, people still don't have that urgency. People still don't have that uh, want and that desire to be like, oh, snap, something is wrong. That's my word. I'm about to start praying. He said, still, even with all this stuff I'm bringing about, son, it's still not happening. So now America, bye. Now America, bye. It ain't even about to be no, oh, America will be restored. I didn't get no word about rest restoration. No. No, we're out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of here, okay? You either getting a first class ticket to heaven or you going down, bro. And the decision is on you, okay? So I'm at work. You know what I mean? I'm going to pray. I'm going to say a word of prayer and I'm going to extend um, the call to salvation. And if you want to receive Jesus right now as your Lord and Savior, just say the prayer with me and you can. You can. But after that, I'm going to tell you something that the church also didn't really say to me. Continue to repent and continue to renounce your sins. Nobody's perfect. You know what I mean? So, of course, you're going to stumble. You're going to fall. You know what I mean? But getting into heaven isn't as easy as we thought it was, folks. Isn't as easy as we thought it was. Oh, I got baptized, so, so I'm good. Oh, I went to church, so I'm good. Oh, I go to church, so I'm good. No, you're not good. No, you're not. Repent. Oh, God knows my heart. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Repent. Sanctify yourself. Separate yourself from those things that your spirit been telling you to get away from. From those things and those people, move away from them before it's too late. Because I would tell you time is running out, but time is done. We have seven weeks left to prepare severe famine severe lack that's what's coming okay people are going to begin burning down churches you don't understand the destruction you don't understand you don't understand so please just heed these words because i don't have no time to be wasting your time and I surely don't have time to be wasting the Lord's time. 
take heed, okay? I love you guys. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will prick the hearts of your people. Let this word fall on whoever it's supposed to fall on. Do not let the enemy snatch this word. Let this word fall on good ground, dear Lord, because it comes from solid foundation, and the foundation is Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, which the church was built up on. So, dear Lord, I pray right now that you would touch it and that you would seal this word by your Holy Spirit, dear Lord. And as you have willed it, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Now, if you want to invite Jesus into your heart, okay, let me tell you, the book of Romans tells us all you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, okay? And ask him to come into your heart and he will save you right now because hell is real and heaven is real. And I don't care what you choose to believe, when you die, you go into one of two places and none of us is good enough to fit in and we sure enough ain't good enough to get in so i advise you do it now all right all right you guys see you again soon hopefully maybe with a more cheerful and happy word or i'm hoping in my heart really what happens is i'm hoping that yo i'm hoping that i don't see y'all with a cheerful and happy word i hope you I, I hope i'm on here in seven weeks, and I'm, I hope I'm on here saying, I'm so sorry, I'm wrong. Whoever believed me when I said this was going to happen, oh, oh, no, I was wrong. I apologize for anybody I scared, and I hope I'm asking for your forgiveness because, boy, if what I said comes to pass, we're out of here, folks. So it's time for you to stop thinking that you, that you have time and for you to start getting your focus on eternity. All right? All right, God bless y'all all in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm out.